What up, family? It costs nothing to hit that like button, fam. The homie honeycomb braids is back at it again. <laughs> I got to say, man, situations get real weird when it comes to street code laws. They seem to always get broken. Reasons why, fam, is because it don't stand on loyalty and principles um, like people say it do because it's negativity. Can't no negativity stand on no loyalty and principles. Don't let nobody tell you different. And Honeycomb Brazy is uh, finding this out the hard way. Now, mind you that everything that Honeycomb have been through and is going through, one would think the labels and different people that, you know, he helped out um, would have a heart for him, especially losing your grandma and your grandfather. Like, that was a tragic situation, fam. And I teach on all the time, like, people will talk about something. You know, it, it, the world got a short attention span now, even when it comes to death. You know, people will talk about it one week, the next week is over. And you will just have to deal with it yourself. Now, we know that Honeycomb Brazen Finesse two times had a relationship, fam. We know that this relationship have went sour since Finesse two times been home. We see him Finesse two times move around, plenty of success. He have had um, hit records, <laughs> you feel me, since he uh, been home and the streets rock with him, right? On the other hand, fam, Honeycomb Brazy is exposing a lot of information and it's factual information. And he took to his social media, fam, and he spoke on Finesse saying that they was going to do him like Dolph in Memphis. And he introduced Finesse to the Prince family, you know, pretty much got him his deal, you know, if it wasn't for Honeycomb. He also went on to say, fam, when it come to J. Prince Jr., he only sent him $1,500 in the two-year gap that he'd been incarcerated. Pretty much saying he know what it is. He appreciate that, though. But only $1,500 from a multi-millionaire in the two-year gap being incarcerated. Now, Honeycomb, he, he, he got a point, you're a fan. At the same time, the point is pointed because it's built off negativity, like I was just saying. But if, you know, and, and, and we know we know the relationship that they had, they two of the same like type rappers, gangster rappers to the core, and you and you know they done been there, you know, through through the music. And for Honeycomb to introduce Finesse to the plug, like, and Finesse was saying he need to get out of Memphis. They going to do him, you know, like they did Dolph. And for also with the 1500 with the J. Prince situation, that just, and, 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 and keep in mind, Honeycomb Brazer have said before how the labels have left him to crumble. He tried to keep a little room in there for uh, J. Prince to breathe in that text a little bit. J. Prince Jr. to breathe in that text a little bit. Was pretty much saying that they still got a relationship. But on the finesse two time side, fam, you know, I, I feel like he should look out for Honeycomb Brazy more because Honeycomb was looking out for finesse two time when finesse two time was incarcerated. It's only right to make that happen. Now, this mob tie situation, since Honeycomb Brazy been gone, have got Brazy <laughs> because take off. And a lot of people is putting a third eye on mob ties. I mean, a lot of people still rock with them, but we know that this negativity that I'm talking about is built off that. And anytime something is built off the negativity, one might think when it comes to the J. Prince 
senior, you know, the father, the way that he talked is organized talk, but it's negative organized talk. We just seen him go out with uh, NBA young boy, like, hey, keep me and Drake name out your mouth. It's really on the bullet tip because it's a freedom of speech. Last I heard, you feel what I'm saying? Well, this Drake, if that's the case, you know, we need to speak on a lot of more issues that's going on in our culture and in the community, fam. Finesse two times. It's so solid right now in the music and what he believe in to where he can't see nothing else but what he feel. <laughs> you see you see what I'm saying? He leaning off his own understanding. When it comes to money bag, yo, he he getting relationships back right that wasn't going right before he got incarcerated. But the people that he had against them people still against them people and feel like he should still be riding that train too, leaving the drive. It's a honeycomb um, feeling, fam. So the game transition, what, what I'm trying to say, fam, the game transitioning to people change. Just because a dude is solid in 2023 on a situation, that don't mean he going to go into 2027 the same way. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And so Honeycomb Brazy is learning that right now when it comes to the hip-hop game. But when it comes to Jay Prince, the Prince family, the way that he sacrificed, held it down, put it down for him, I feel like they owe him, you know, a lot more respect than that, fam. It's funny how these dudes can ride for a label with hollow mob ties and sacrifice their life in these clubs, fam. You feel what I'm saying? Just to get incarcerated on a gangster situation, fam. And for them same mob ties people to turn their back on you or any label, <laughs> you feel me? To turn their back. So you in a lose, lose situation with an image for some people that's just trying to win, capitalize off you. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? And even with finesse two times right now, you know how I speak on all the time, you're going to have to make the transition. And what I mean by the transition, you just can't stay on the rap tip. Rap only going to pay so much in the world. It's gonna, only going to consume it so much. When Drake's come once in a lifetime, these dudes speaking on a hood level, you feel what I'm saying? A real street level, basing it off the negativity. And it's only so long that you can ride that negative train, fam, before something go wrong. But get your money. But make sure you hit that like button. I keep y'all updated, fam. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.